Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. <laughs> That's Molly? Yeah. Speaking of her, right? Yeah. I seen um I seen what Rainwater said about Molly saying that, hey, you know, you paid for a verse. What was it? Um, like I say, Molly just came on the phone, she was talking about they was talking about the verse or whatever the case may be. What's your stance on uh, art, your artists, you know, doing verses with people, you know, and I guess they didn't, they don't promote it. Like, how, how does that go? What's the proper way, basically, I'm asking? What's I mean, the proper shit, procedure? the proper way is to call the, uh, the numbers in the bios or shit, hit them artists in the DM. And however it work out after that, that's it. But me, when I always was doing shit like that, like, Back in the day when I used to throw shows and try to bring artists to Arkansas and shit like that, I always want to talk to managers. Because, I mean, I'm going to get the business right. I ain't trying to talk to no artists and then... You feel me? Yeah. I ain't trying to talk to no artists and then shit... Shit, uh... Don't, don't turn out right. You know what I mean? Shit. Because how you going to get mad at, at, at the artists? You should have talked to the manager. Mm. If they ain't got no manager, shit, y'all better get something to see him. You feel me? You're right about that. Yeah. How do you feel about artists wanting managers before they really even have some type of career or look like they're going to have a career? They might have a couple songs out, nothing major, and they trying to hurry up and get a manager. That's cool. I say do it. Do what you got to do. At the end of the day, you need to be trying to get a team. So if you if you want to get a, a, somebody and say they're your manager, do that shit. Cause shit, you need a team. Why not? Why not? Niggas try to get somebody to be their manager. Cause then they can say shit. I got when the CD come out, they got somebody else to push. You feel me? Mm. This is what I try to tell niggas. Like, look, get you a team. Cause everybody. All right, look. I talk to a lot of female artists, right? I talk to a lot of male artists. They always try to tell me that every time I be like, when, like if you notice when it's time to shoot a video, majority of them, they pull up by themselves. If it's a male, they pull up with their girl. If it's a female, they pull up with their nigga. Feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm like, hey man, get you a team. See, this the thing, when you get when that video come out, you need 30, 40 people sharing this shit. Think about it. If you already getting 30, 40 shares off your regular fans, then you got 30, 40 homies to add with it. That's 80 to 100 shares. All right, you saying that. And this brings me to my, another question that just popped in my head. The homies got to keep it gutter, though. Yes, the homies gotta keep it going, mm -hmm. but that's that's what happened when you. Pick, why would you pick him to be your manager if he ain't gonna do that type of shit when time come? So saying that to say the same with the other twenty nine niggas. Okay. Why are y'all calling my motherfucking phone if y'all can't share my fucking video? Homie, don't 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 call me no more, bro. And then a nigga share your shit, hit you on a story, and then a nigga hit you like. You saw I put you on my page yesterday. <laughs> Hell yeah, salute, fool. See, some shit you can't get mad at. Everybody want to get mad at shit. A nigga rather be like, man, fuck that bitch ass nigga. Hell nah, the homie put it on there. It don't matter how he did it, when he did it. Shit, salute that nigga. Shit, what you mad at him? You were mad before that. Yeah. There's like I, um another another post that was kind of getting some traction online was that some guy whoever he was he said that man you wish little baby happy birthday a numerous times oh I seen that I've been your homeboy for whatever and, and you, you never ain't shout me out now some people was laughing at it or whatever but I was like I laughed then was like that's real cause that shit was funny <laughs> <laughs> think about it though yeah. you ain't never met little baby you don't know him for a can of paint. And shit, you know that bitch to my happy birthday, little baby. Your people shit come around and you ain't see it. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is funny, though.
That's fucked up. Yeah, that's, that's crazy, but it, it really be like that. Yeah, this life. Yeah. Niggas, niggas better get real. This life. Mm. Everybody ain't gonna please you. Shit, though, so yeah. I say this, man. Niggas <laughs> gotta quit that shit, though. Like Cut that shit emotional. <laughs> Yeah. You gonna cancel cut the TV? Oh yeah, cut that. Cut that. I will. Make sure that's cut. Make sure that's cut. Let me do hey, I'll do you a drop for that. Change the plans. <laughs> Go to TV. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, cut that for cut, I will, cut I will for sure, for sure. Hell yeah, yeah, make hey, make sure that's out, cause yeah. I know this shit real. Yeah, yeah. Hey. I don't know. These both be like, what'd he say? <laughs> what'd he say? Get his ass. <laughs> Yeah, you know GTQ. Me, 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 me